Hi everybody, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube, Buddy, uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So uh, you can all find me back there, but the most used is um, uh, YouTube, Facebook and um, Instagram. So you can also find notifications, that uh, put notifications out there for when I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday nights and I answer questions that are supported um, by a donation that's a super chat or a super sticker you can also um, ask me for an uh, extensive reading and you can find the information below the video in the description box and also in the top right hand corner of your screen click on the white circle then a pop-up will come in and click on the angel and it will take you to my website there is a new reading out and that's the crystal ball reading and find out what a crystal ball consists of um, by going to the website it's awesome also uh, I uh, um, I've created a new page and that is Charlie Angel Crowd on Facebook and that's a private group and I'll be doing web uh, workshops there and private zooms I'll be teaching hopefully meditation or Lenamon it just depends how many people are interested it will be uh, starting in the autumn as I'm also renewing the competition so this is your reading a general reading for one card for each day for the coming week and I'm also giving an angel card now choose your angel card just one two or all three like Monday midweek and the end of the week so see whether you which angel you need and I'll go into that extensively okay thank you very much for coming back my cyber angels great to see you thank you for your likes and shares and please continue to do so I do appreciate it and I am grateful and welcome to the new people please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified and please everybody become a member join me on Facebook or Instagram because notifications sometimes don't work in YouTube because there's still some glitches okay let's get started with the reading sorry about for the long introduction and have a look at your romance reading and your last week's reading as well see what resonates with you and what energy is for you there the first card that we have is for Saturday the uh, first I think it's on the first Saturday yes I'm pretty sure because I said it the reading was I make mistakes as well sorry guys um, you have the clocks the clocks mean time is of essence perhaps take your time okay so you know what resonates with you take your time or make sure that the time is right if you're traveling for instance that the time of your flights are correct uh, whether how long it, the drive will be where you can stop because the charts and maps have changed I find traveling um, that on the main on, on the highways through Holland and Belgium that there is no uh, stops like petrol stations there are less petrol stations and places to stop and with the COVID uh, virus um, uh, everything is changed as well because public toilets are closed because of the virus so be aware take time make your plans correctly so take your time and be strategic and if not if you're on working on a deadline then it's better to get on with it time is of essence time costs money so delegate and get help if you need help many hands make light work so don't shy away from asking help you've got number 37 here and that's a 10 there will be an end and a new beginning now all that counts for all the elements the all the signs okay so that is Saturday it seems that some of you might be traveling on Saturday so I wish you a safe journey 
and ask Archangel Metatron to go with you or Saint Christopher and of course the angels and the divine. Now on to the second card and that is for Sunday and you have the mask. The mask is in this deck it is the sunshine, the happy face and the sad face. This is the, the sun and this is the moon like the dark side and the light side of us all. But this could be that you are wearing a mask, you're not happy with something. It could be that the time is not right to be happy because you don't want to travel because you're scared of the COVID or you of the re or the restrictions or the lockdown. You might be anxious, so you might be feeling depressed and sad and tired. Or perhaps you are feeling tired because you've had to do so many preparations more than usual. It could be that um, you are sh not showing your true faith and um, that you are happy and well to go on holiday. Ha. So somebody is wearing a mask. This could be you, um, but it could, like here, this is you, but it's um, it's got like three noses, so it could be you or it could be somebody in your vicinity. Okay, so if you are out of balance, try to come into balance uh, by taking action and showing your emotions to that person. If you have grievances with another person, then tell them what you, you, what you don't like. Talk it out. Communicate. Don't start. Don't start harboring uh, feelings, anger or sadness or hardship. Talk it out with the person that you have grievances with or that you are happy with. Let them know how you feel. Nobody can adjust if they don't know if there is something wrong with you. And if somebody else is wearing a mask, ask them what is the matter. So let the energy, the truth come out. You've got four. This will stand you in good stead because this is four is foundation and you will build a proper foundation with a friend and in your friendship if you learn to communicate and if you learn to know what each other wants and what makes the other happy. That brings balance in the relationship. Now on Monday you have number 41 so that's a five that shows you that you're still out of balance but you can do a wish because you've got the wishing well but you have to do more research dig deeper what you need more information so if you are wearing the mask then you need to dig deep within yourself and find out what is ailing you why you're wearing the mask why you are not happy or why you um, you can't take action or why you're not taking action because the bucket has to go very deep to and the pail before it can scoop up water okay so do your research until you are happy again and satisfied with what the issue is on the situation like if you're going on holiday um, perhaps you've not heeded wa warning that it's time to check your itinerary and the times perhaps you've just got to the airport and you found out that the plane has been delayed or cancelled so please be warned check and double check okay so you don't be get disappointed or angry so your wish let's see if your wish will come true your wish will come true if you get more uh, information and research okay and that will bring you back into balance you are creative enough to do it you've got number 30 here you've got the lily the lily means good luck in business and good luck at work you might seek advice from an older man or a man that you respect that is mature could also be your father if you're lucky enough to have one it could also be a, um, a spiritual guide because we've got the uh, church window 
the church window means it could be an, an advisor from an institution or a municipality it, like a lawyer an advocate a social worker anything like that a doctor a teacher and you could be meeting the king of spades that's the king of um, swords and the king of swords could be a Gemini but don't exclude Libra or a uh, uh, aquarium they have knowledge they seek wisdom they are knowledgeable they know the letter of the law they uh, are the head of inst most usually a head of the institutions like a hierophant or an uh, the Emperor and the king could be a lawyer as well okay so he will cut straight through to the core to get your truth and honesty that you need for to be happy again and uh, clarity okay and he will he can even be able to com be the communicator to put things right like he might this could be the guy um, at the front desk of the airline finding out when the plane is going to uh, come in or when he's going to fly why is the delay so it will bring clarity so that you can alter your schedule accordingly okay if you are going on holiday you might even meet the king uh, of swords yourself could be a new love it could be an advisor it could be a businessman wow and we've got the woman on Wednesday number 29 is 11 the angels are here like I said the angels are here you are blessed and you are protected they are hearing your prayers no need to be dreamy get in action you know you don't have to isolate yourself and read books you can go out and enjoy life and get to know people look she's looking at the king of swords of spades and this is the ace of spades a new beginning between an air sign and you so this is victory victory is yours you will be happy again on Wednesday or thereabouts okay something will become clear to you communicate talk with other people get to know people come out of your shell don't sit behind a book and wait for the things to happen whether it's love or whether it's something you love to do or whether it is um, starting up a new conversation with somebody that you might not have talked to get that conversation going and get it out of the air drop the mask let the real person come out cut straight through the core and get clarity there will be a new beginning because victory is yours that's the ace of swords okay could also be a new study darling and on Thursday we have the child perhaps you wanted a child and you've been wearing a mask because you couldn't get pregnant and something has become clear you might have gone to see the doctor on how can I get pregnant can I have fertility drugs how this that and the other this might just resonate with one person out of a billion that I'm reading for all around the world I wish you a lot of strength and success and be open and set the intention for the healing to be received by the angels you are in my Reiki healings and my meditations the, there could be um, you've got the wish card so the wish could be coming true on holiday because you are relaxing and you're not thinking about we have to do this and we have to do that and blah 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 and it's not going correctly when you relax and you don't think about it like she's dreamy here it will happen you've got number 13 that means friendship fellowship so additional friends you there will be multiplica uh, multiplication okay will multiply so I think some of you will get pregnant this summer now there could also be a new study and again the child is confirming this by the book and um, the building blocks you might be studying during the holidays or starting a new study you most probably will be learning 
uh, it in a playful way, not in constantly pounding the books, but also practic practically, because the child learns by doing it practically and playful. Let your inner child come out, that is also makes you more attractive. You will get news again, swords, okay, spades, the page of swords. A young person will bring you news. Now, if you do get pregnant now, that's August, September, October, November, December, January, February, that could be an Aries Aquarian child be born. It, it will be born early though, but you might be pregnant now and you don't know about it. So you would have been gotten pregnant in July. So it could be an Aquarian, uh, which is an air sign. That could be the three signs of the air signs, okay? The third month, so that's the beginning of uh, uh, March. March is Pisces, but February, March is Aquarian, okay? If I'm correct, don't hold no. It is Capricorn from January into February, from February into March. Yes, it is, can be an Aquarian. Right, I don't know why, but um, also proper foundations, number 13, one and three becomes four. Wow. Now, the angels are really showing up here this week because we've also got 22. You've got the 11, uh, you've got the 11 here and you have the 22 here you've got the church window so it is a very spiritual um, blessed time at this moment there might be choices that you have to make okay this is the crossroads you've also got the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is a determined lady okay she's independent she is she, the Queen of Pentacles is a Leo so the Leo is also August so I think this message in this reading I uh, don't want to give anybody false hope but there could be a birth of some kind in um, August a new love or a child a new love right or a child or a new job the time has come now is the time okay the time is right that's also what I'm hearing now for the angel card I have for the first angel card I have the um, cream angel card embrace change the angels applaud your willingness to embrace change with acceptance and maturity the cream angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of positive change just hearing the word change often fills people with fear and anxi anxiety don't get anxiety because then it doesn't work to get pregnant or the new to get the right new beginning okay that is what brings stress and that's no good be playful it is important to understand that everything in your life is moving active and in a constant state of change when your life feels stagnant like here then uh, sorry I'm reading this from the book because it's a big message okay I'm just going to put it down because I can't do two things at the same time sometimes stagnant when your life feels stagnant you often feel trapped listless and uninspired accepting that things are always changing and new is helpful in creating a good life the angels envisage that you will negotiate these developments with charm grace and uh, strength you will put your best foot forward strength the Leo and will actually be unable to put a foot wrong reach for the sky your wish your dream okay wow that's beautiful 
and also the stones that you can wear to enhance these energies is Moonstone and Milky Quartz and the Archangel is Archangel Michael the Angel of Courage and Justice and Clarity he protects you with the shield and the sword now we're going on to the next card and we have the golden angel feather card okay something has come full circle you can also wear cream eat cream okay ice cream and you can wear gold and that will enhance this card and its essential energies the angels acknowledge and applaud the wonderful effort you have put in you are transforming from an ordinary human into a spiritual being like I said there's a really spiritual energy this week the golden angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of transformation a cycle has been completed full of learning and growth the angels are aware that the high values you have maintained throughout spiritual maturity and wisdom are the blessings for enjoying this phase of your life the mask you've learned how to communicate perhaps and learned gained knowledge as to why somebody is wearing a mask or yourself The angels are now ushering in golden energy that will renew your spirit in readiness for brighter and easier days. Now relax and enjoy life. What did I say? Relax and be more playful. Whoopee! Yes, nice. Sounds nice when it all comes together. Open your solar plex, your heart and your mind. Archangel Jovial the angel of enlightenment is here and also archangel sandalphon sandalphon the angel of power get back into your power don't give up it's okay to feel down and sad if something is not working out but talk to somebody about it now the last angel card is the primrose angel feather well there's a lot of yellow and cream and like August sunshine is also yellow yellow cleans is also very good for cleaning an advanced soul the angels acknowledge that in your midst is an advanced soul an indigo crystal or a rainbow child that has been called on to love okay you have been called on to love guide or teach what a blessing well the child is there so like I said if you are getting pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant take precautions but if you are getting pregnant then this child you've been called upon the, um, to teach this child and it this child is a blessing right the primrose angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of an advanced soul these gifted children and teenagers relate to great spirituality they search to understand the world and to find meaning in life the angels have called upon you to assist a child in an optimistic way with new learning these children respond confident like the queen of fire okay cheerful and positive role models the angels ask that you look past outward appearances connect deeply through their eyes the windows of the soul and never underestimate their innate gifts and abilities this will be a blessed relationship anything is possible 
you will believe. Anything is possible when you do believe. So you have to believe. Believe, believe, it will happen. You may have heard your praise. And these are special children. These, chi these children can have ADHD or ADD. That's the crystal and the in, uh, indigo children. Okay. Uh, I'm going to read the whole page because, you know, don't judge a book by its cover and you sometimes don't see handicaps. And this is what I want to bring out into the world. Have more understanding for people that have unseen handicaps. Talk to people, find out what they're about. I'm connect the affirmation is that you can use I am connecting deeply with a beautiful child who is a divine gift from God. It could be also your inner child. Other symbols of the primrose angel feather is inte intellectual stimulation. You need to get moving, not only reading, but play with things, discover things, touch things, wake up all the senses. Intellectual stimulation, guidance, protection, and support and optimism. Primrose crystals, citrine, helidol, and calcite. Associated angels is Archangel Metatron. He's been with you last week as that was one of the cards for each zodiac reading. The guardian angels for these children are Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Haniel, Archangel Michael, Archangel Zadkiel, Angel Israfel, Angel Ithriel, Angel Muriel, and Angel Nuriel. So, those might be some names for a boy. Good names. And Gabriel and Haniel could be great names for a girl. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this week's reading and I hope it puts your mind to rest. Give it over to the angels and the divine and the cosmos. They've heard your prayers. The candle with me is on day and night for everybody in the world to heal, to protect and to give gratitude to our angels and the divine. Take care and have a beautiful week.